The Guitar Hotel at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino lit up in Ukrainian colors tonight as the world marks one year since Russian forces invaded Ukraine. And over in downtown Miami, the Paramount Miami World Center skyscraper also lit up in solidarity. It joins the dozens of tributes across the world dedicated to the victims and heroes of the war. And as that war shows no signs of ending, many in South Florida wanted to show their support for the fight. They gathered in Hallandale Beach tonight to be together, share their stories, and dream of a time when peace finally prevails. CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola was there and has the story. Ukrainians tell me the war has felt like a lifetime. Many of them here left their country because of it, but also in these crowds, a message of hope and Russians by their side. In front of Hollandale Beach City Hall. A sea of Ukrainians pushing for freedom. Most of the people here recently arrived from the country, like 27 year old Anastasia. Proud to be Ukrainian every day. <laughs> but also in this crowd, Russians holding up signs with their disapproval towards Russian President Vladimir Putin. Maxim Sivlid tells me he left Russia six months ago when he received notice that he was drafted to go to war. I, I, don't, I don't want to go to, you know, my brother country and kill my like, brother their sisters and like who are not guilty in anything. They just didn't do anything. New numbers released say that around 40 to 60,000 Ukrainians have been killed in this war. That death toll nearly tripled with Russians with 175 to 200,000 casualties. This is terrible. This is terrible for me. Russian Igor Hosapki is emotional, thinking about how much this war has affected his loved ones. But some folks like Anastasia say, the pain is too deep. And for us Russians, uh, we are not brothers, you know, no. We're just neighbors with not really good neighbors. Despite their feelings towards each other, one thing they can all agree on is that they can stand together and push for this war to be over. Finally stop, because everybody is suffering, not only the people in Ukraine and Russia, everybody. And this is a disaster. In Hollandale Beach, I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS 4 News, tonight.